Now moving over to the next phenomena, which is also a color change called as Harlequin color change. Now anything comes to your mind with the word Harlequin? Harlequin. If you are a follower of uh, DC Cinematic Universe or if you read DC uh, comics, you would know that there is a character, female character called as Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn in the comics and the movies, she is a uh, girlfriend of Joker, the arch nemesis of Batman. Harley Quinn was a psychiatrist um, who was sent to counsel Joker when he was arrested and she herself was brainwashed by Joker and Joker brought out the latent negativity in her at some times that that lady is behaves normally at other times she has a bloody red you know uh, bloodlusty kind of personality so two kind of personalities appear in the same person so probably the person who described harley quinn color change must have been a fan of harley quinn and he said this child certain newborns they are found to have a distinct discoloration in the body if I am a newborn, children who have this problem, when you turn them to one side, the dependent side will become dark in color and the non-dependent side will become pale in color with a clear demarcation in between. If you change the posture, after some minutes, the, the condition will go away and it can even reverse. So one half of the body dark in color, one half of the body light in color is called as Harley Quinn color change. Nothing to do with comics. This was just a theory uh, which uh, uh, we don't know why it was named like that. But this is one theory which I have been told in my residency and it has always been easy for me to relate to remember Harley Quinn color change. Two types of colors in the same person. So look at this photograph. Uh, can you see that on this side there is arrhythmia, on this side there is paleness and there is a sharp discoloration in the trunk. It can extend to the limbs also. It can extend to the face also, but mostly it involves the trunk. So, Harley Quinn color change is considered to be a self-limited phenomena, a self-limited vascular phenomena. What happens in this? One half of the body is dark in color, that is erythematous. One half of the body is pale in color. This often can be demonstrated by turning the child, by turning the child to side position. On turning the child to side position, you will find that the dependent part will become red, whereas the non-dependent part will become pale. Sometimes it can happen without position change also and it often improves on putting the child in supine position. What is the reason? The reason for Harlequin color change is exaggerated autonomic dysfunction of the cutaneous blood vessels. Does it require any therapy? No therapy is needed and by the time these children are out of the um, neonatal period that is second, third or fourth month of life, Harlequin color change stops happening. So Harlequin color change, one half of the body dark in color, one half of the body light in color more exaggerated with postural change does not require any therapy. The word Harley Quinn is important for your uh, in pediatrics because many Harley Quinn related terms you will come across. So what are the Harley Quinns that you need to know? First is this Harley Quinn which is of non-academic importance. Uh, this is a photograph of Margaret Robbie who played the role of Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad. If you haven't watched the movie that's fine. Wasn't a great movie any, anyways. But this Harley Quinn is not important for your entrance exam. For your entrance exam, there are three Harley Quinns that you need to know. The first Harley Quinn is this which we have already discussed. What is this Harley Quinn? This is Harley Quinn color change. And no therapy is needed. 
it is a self limited autonomic dysfunction the second harlequin is this what is this this condition is called as harlequin type or simply harlequin h Harlequin ichthyosis is a severe type of ichthyotic uh, condition in which there is abnormal dehydration of the surface keratinocytes. It is a condition which is caused by, it shows autosomal recessive inheritance. The whole body of the child is covered by thick lesions which show splitting and there is an armored appearance of the child. This armored appearance can not only cause dehydration and problems in the movement, but it can also lead to bleeding from the fissures in between the skin and secondary infections and so it is a pathological condition. Harlequin ichthyosis is a pathological condition. It is not a self-limited condition. More about it, we will discuss in a separate module. So, Harlequin ichthyosis is not a self-limited phenomena. So, visual can be asked upon this topic. And the third Harlequin is this. This is called as Harlequin syndrome. What is Harlequin syndrome? Harlequin syndrome is mostly seen in older children and adults. Very rarely it can be congenital as well. In Harlequin syndrome, there will be unilateral flushing as you can see in this child. Unilateral increased sweating along with unilateral Horner syndrome on the affected side. Multiple conditions uh, involving the various neurological uh, pathway on the on one side of the face have been implicated including those involving the sympathetic ganglia. So, Harlequin syndrome is the third condition which is very less commonly seen in newborns, more seen in older children and adults. So, three Harlequins important. This is a pathological condition, this is a pathological condition and this is a physiological condition. No therapy is needed in Harlequin color change. So, if you get a question based upon any of these, whether it is a photograph or a statement based thing, please do not get confused.